I'm William Eaton. I'm the director of Roberto Van School of Luthery. I got my start here back when we founded the school in 1975 with my two teachers, uh, John Roberts and Bob Benz. As an accredited school, our task and our objective is to get them the fundamental knowledge to go into a profession. When they leave here, we really want them to have a fundamental. We want them to understand not only the construction, but the theory behind the guitars and how a top works and how bracing systems work. I want to provide these guys with something that gives as much back as it's given me because I can't not do this. And just to pass on the craft and, and providing these guys with a lifestyle, they can make a living enjoying what they do instead of having to go to work wanting to go to work. Our teaching philosophy at the Roberto Van School of Luthery is uh, really hands-on. When we started in 1975, we had the concept that students would come and build an acoustic guitar and electric guitar starting from day one. They learn by doing and they take part in the choices for the design and learn our technique, which is one of many techniques, and from that experience they will leave here and work for companies, large companies, small companies, apprenticeships, uh, guitar techs. In that regard, they take the experience here and then learn in other situations as well. One of the most important things about the school really is our instructors. The instructors who on a day-to-day -day basis are so involved and dedicated with the students. The one-on-one -on -one instruction that they do, that's really what the school is about. We have a couple of instructors now that were ex-students because their work is so good and they're amazing craftsmen. What we've got here are uh, some of our primary acoustic building woods. Um, we have two options for the tops, one being cedar, typical finger style type of wood, um, the other being spruce, which we use a vast majority of our acoustic guitars are made of. People always get a satisfaction from making things, but making things that make music is, you know, satisfaction squared. The instrument is kind of a vessel. It's kind of a journey. And I see this in all my students and experiences that they have as we've been carrying on this symbiotic relationship with trees ever since the beginning. Getting to work with trees and wood is certainly a pleasure and there's much depth to it. You keep learning as, as you go and we're all beginners for sure. It's been a big thing to be able to create a musical instrument out of just simple wood. Just to start from scratch and craft something that not only expresses the individual, but helps reach other people.
As an instrument maker, one of the opportunities for making an instrument for yourself is you can design it custom to your need. Less strings, you know, you can do things that aren't conventional. I've come to appreciate that it's a life-changing experience for these students. You watch their life change kind of before your eyes because it's a very intensive experience. They're here nine hours a day, five months. As I mentioned before, the journey of starting from scratch and building a guitar, when they see that finished instrument at the end of the, of the day and they've, they've had their heart and soul in it and their sweat in it, uh, it's, uh, it's kind of a wonderful experience and a life-changing experience. When I decided to come to Roberto then, I was working as a currency trader in a big corporation. I just decided that I was sick of the, you know, the regular day job where you're sitting in front of a computer all day. I wanted to work with my hands. The guitar is an instrument that speaks to me in, on so many levels. I think from a tonal aspect, it's something that I was always attracted to. It's also a very sensual, beautiful instrument. Students will take away from their experience at Roberto Venn the sense of pride. Once they spend five months here, they realize it's a lot of hard work, but it's, it's quite an accomplishment for a lot of the students. The magic moments are kind of hidden within the day-to-day -day experience. Uh, and all you have to do is open your eyes and walk over and watch a student carefully at work and see their level of concentration when they put the strings on for the first time. You see a light in their eyes and a glow and a joy that you know will stay with them the rest of their lives. Thank you.